What's up guys? Today I'm here in my backyard and I'm looking to test my pH because my grass is not doing that good and I know the pH is pretty bad. I think it's really low. So I'm going to do a test right now and see how the results differ between two different pH tests that you can get online. One of the things I'm going to use to test the pH is this pH meter that you can just stick into the ground and one of the probes here will tell you what the pH level is. And then for the other pH test, I'm going to use this rapid test pH test kit and see what it tells me. And I'm going to do a comparison and see how they differ. All right, so the first one I'm going to do is the rapid test. So let's see what pH level it gives me. Now to do this test, you got to dig about four inches into your ground. So I'm going to do that right now. Then you want to get some soil from here and fill up the bottom part of this container right here. So you can see it says fill with soil. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And I said try not to touch the soil, so I'm going to try not to touch it. All right, so you can see here, I have it filled to the bottom line with the soil. Now the next thing you do is take one of these capsules, open it up, and dump it inside of that chamber. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, now I gotta fill it up to here with water, so I'm gonna go do that. All right, so here's what the pH level's looking like. It looks like it's between somewhere around a 5.5 to 6. And I did add some lime not too long ago, so it did look like the lime has raised the pH some. I was down around 5, so that's a good sign that it's going up some. So here's the prong meter. You can see it's a moisture meter, and it has a pH meter as well. It says it's scientifically accurate, so that's good, and no batteries are required. So you gotta love that. Here's the back of it. It says it measures the pH at a root level. It's scientifically accurate. No batteries required. Prevents over and underwatering. Promotes healthy plants. The instructions are insert probe to root level. Note the moisture level and water accordingly. And they also give you a guide and to also clean the probes after each use. So let's open it up. So there's a little switch here at the bottom. See it's on pH now. You can move it to light and you can also move it to moisture. And then you can see down here it'll show you whether it's moist enough or what your pH levels are. The very bottom one would be your pH indicator. So let's go try it out. So I'm here at the same spot. Let's see what it says for moisture. Readjust it. Here we go. Now it says the moisture is pretty good at a four. Let's change it to pH. And it says my pH is pretty good at seven so let's try exactly where I was before still says the pH is good still says the pH is good kind of not sure if I'm trusting this one <laughs> Yep, it says the pH is really high, but I know it's not. Now the pH is coming in at around six to seven. seven and eight and there's no way that my pH is this high. Alright so you can tell that these two 
tests are not the same. With this one, I'm measuring somewhere between 6 and 6.5. And with this one, it's usually measuring around 7 to 8. So I'm going to say that this one is by far more accurate because I know my pH isn't that high because... I haven't added lime or anything to my grass for 10 years before I did it the other day. And this is just a little bit better than what I was showing before I added the pH. Because I measured it before I added the lime as well. So I'm going to say this rapid test is more accurate. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll have the links down below to where you can purchase either one of these pH testers. If you use those links, I do get a few pennies on the dollar, which helps me out with making these videos. So thank you so much for using those if you can, and have a great day.